All right, now the market opens in a couple of minutes. We thought we'd tell you how it's going to open in the green, but not by that much. Now, show me three stocks, please. I want IBM, Walgreens, and Merck on your screens right now. David Barson, Barnson, who specializes in stocks that, where the dividend is going to grow, he's picked these three stocks. So, David, what's so great about IBM and its dividend? Well, first of all, IBM, you start off with a really nice dividend just at purchase. You're going to get about a 5.25% yield, and they're going to continue growing that dividend. They've been growing it substantially now for a better part of a decade. And as you know, Stuart, they kind of have two businesses. They have an old line business that's a little stodgy, traditional, but it kicks off a lot of cash. But it's not a high growth space. But then they bought Red Hat and they have this cloud business going into the future. So you get kind of the best of both worlds, old co and new co. So 5% now and maybe a capital gain later and maybe more dividend later, got that. How about Walgreens? Walgreens is one of those names where there's a lot of negatives you could talk about in terms of the secular pressures on their space, people worried about Amazon coming in the pharmacy business, and yet that's why Walgreens is priced where it is. It has the lowest P.E. ratio it's ever had, and so Walgreens is priced in a lot of bad news, but it's grown the dividend every year for over 70 years. It's paying out over a 4% yield, and it is perfectly prepared to now weather the storms and readjust their business going forward. So it's kind of a mix of a value play with a really good dividend growth story. Let's see if we can squeeze this one in before the market opens. Merck, what are they paying and how much are they going to pay? Merck is paying 3.2%. They've grown the dividend every year forever. They have $10 billion of cash on the balance sheet, the best R&D department in big pharma. Uh, Merck, by the way, is down 10% on the year, so it isn't like it's one of these stocks that's already fully recovered. It would be very difficult for me to come up with something negative to say about Merck, a great dividend grower, stable and low volatility, Stuart. A lot of people like that kind of thing. That's your business, isn't it? You look at stocks and pick stocks where the dividend is strong and likely to get stronger. That's what you've been doing all your life in finance, isn't it? That's what I've been doing. The only caveat is I would say I pick companies, not stocks, okay. meaning we want the businesses to be strong. The stock price just follows, my friend. David Barnson, it's always a pleasure having you on the show. Great information, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks, David. Thanks, Stuart.